and for brands who uh, see the value of both the good conversation and maybe the not so good conversation, uh, they're really going to benefit because they're going to see the value. For brands that uh, have seen Facebook as a distribution channel solely, they might struggle a little bit. Knowing that Facebook's primary source of revenue is advertising, um, a lot of advertisers are already reluctant to use Facebook because of that feedback loop. So creating another opportunity for negative feedback uh, is not something that we'll believe they'll do. It, it just has too much potential to hurt their, their biggest revenue stream. By all reports, it's not just going to be a simple thumbs down button. So we're not going to be able to tell our clients, yes, post this type of content. No, don't post this type of content until we actually see the technology and the functionality of the button. The magnitude and form of shift will depend in large part on the range of options available to brands once the feature rolls out, the type of data that will be collected around these new interactions, and most importantly, how brands can use this new action set to engage and interact with their audience. We think the dislike button is a natural evolution for Facebook. Social media in general is already highly opinionated. The dislike button is simply a more formal and trackable way for people to communicate with the brand. Those with Facebook pages, we're advising them to sit down, have a beer, wait until the launch is out, and then we see what's really happening. I think it's a really good idea for them to add other types of emotions, things like expressing sympathy or not so sure about this or something. We have a big opportunity to work with our clients, offering them a solution to work with crisis management in social media. It's a new way for users to express and interact with posts besides just clicking the like button. It will allow users to share empathy and concern appropriately. When you act with empathy, you get the sort of engagement that you really need as a company. Feedback that is going to not only make your marketing better, but make your company better. We will tell our clients this means uh, fair feedback and more feedback, more real feedback. And then they need and they have a challenge with the accountability and the different and innovative ways they can react. Negativity already exists on Facebook with negative comments. That are, written, that are written down. In fact, it might reduce the number of those comments and increase the importance of the like button. Why is clicking a little button so important? Why not just leave a comment? It's because Facebook and other social networks have brought about the age of micro-engagements. It's a way of engaging quickly without having to take the time to craft the right words to comment. Small button clicks can speak volumes. Uh, from an analytics point of view, this is a good thing because now we can see whether or not uh, the content is resonating with the audience and we can use this like we do negative sentiment on any of our social media tracking. I think that we have an opportunity here to concept test our audiences if the button will show us different levels of reaction to content. Your fans and those who engage with you on social channels are going to figure out how they want to use it. So keep a watch, find fun ways to use it in your campaigns, and ultimately keep track and measure, measure, measure. At the end of the day, you know, consumers still have a voice, brands still have a voice and an opportunity to reach out on a one-to-one -one basis, have a better awareness of things, and have greater opportunities to solve problems and interact with customers.